It's sports frenzy. <laughs> What's up, Frenzy Head Nation? It is Season 6, Episode 7 of the Recap Show. The late edition of the Recap Show, actually, because we're shooting a day later than we normally would. So, because of pay-per-views, the WWE pay-per-view. <sighs> What's going on, Rose? Not too much, not too much. Just uh, working on the sheets as we speak for next week. The sounds in the air that you hear is Jamie Rose. <laughs> so we've already started the night off with technical difficulties. I had to Skype on my different device because Skype wasn't working on my other computer. So hopefully I'm coming through loud and clear and the picture looks good and we'll, we'll continue on with the show. Um, but yeah, some... Uh, interesting uh, i guess it was a fairly interesting pay-per-view from what you had to say rose yeah yeah it was uh pretty decent a couple good matches uh, a couple good hell in a cell matches uh not quite sure how i feel about the ending of the hell in a cell match but was uh, it uh was it actually over by the time you got home or did it run later than that um well i got home and i got cleaned up and then i actually went over to a buddy's house and we watched it at his um, his house. The pro there. Uh, the crazy part about the uh, Le the Lesnar um, Undertaker match was they both got busted open, and uh, Brock Lesnar actually started to rip up the uh, the canvas of the uh, the the ring to expose the wood because that way the moves would hurt more, I guess somehow. So, but yes. um. But yeah, it was a it was a pretty good uh, pretty good pay per view, I have to say. So, um, but yeah, we can talk more about that here uh, when we get to wrestling. So, so we got some Monday Night Football going on right now. Baltimore versus Arizona, and Arizona is up three to uh, seven to three at the second period or second quarter with eleven forty five left to go. All right. With that being said. We're going to roll right into some high school football action. Uh, these are your, actually, these were your final um, 
a regular season games because this week, I believe, starts playoff action. Yes. So we have cold water rolling over, destroying, annihilating Adrian 35-14. to 14. Oh, coming right up to your first. A three. A three. A three point bones game. It's a three. It's three. It's a three point bonus game. Yes, it is. That was pretty good tonight, Rose. Not bad. No uh, been pra- Southern Twain there for you guys tonight. You've been practicing in the mirror, haven't you? I have. I have. I, I got into the ry- rhythm of it tonight. Um, we have for your fr- th- uh, three-point bonus game, uh, Clinton over Whiteford, 36-18. Yeah. to 18. Clinton is still not showing, undefeated. Not showing favoritism, but I am. <laughs> yeah, Clinton. <laughs> well, you have to because you're married to an alumni. <laughs> that is that's right i am married to an alumnus so <laughs> okay all right now you guys remember i called this one my skeptical game of the week and boy was it did i prove to be very skeptical in this game <laughs> so i was keeping a close eye on this game all night long i was getting lots of twitter feeds on this one and actually i had my buddy rich hollowell out there live from hudson and I flat out told him, now, dude, I chose Hudson because I know you're there at the game. Can you give these guys, like, some kind of motivational speech or something? Apparently he couldn't because Hudson got destroyed, annihilated, wiped out of Hudson. It's surprising the football field's even still there. 35 to nothing. Congratulations, Hillsdale. Well played. Well yes. played. And with that win... That got Hillsdale into the playoffs. So congratulations. And Hillsdale will be facing uh, the 9-0 and Booch. Booch Ann. <laughs> I, I know I totally butchered I have, it. Like, yeah, I haven't seen the sheet yet, so I don't know. Yeah. It's, Look at uh, oh, Jamie Rose is on top of playoff action for you guys. I'm trying to be. I, I, as we go through these, I will let you know who the opponent will be. Um, and bear with put- me. If you see the sheets, you're probably going to be like, well, why the heck did he put this team on there? But um, anyways, uh, we have uh, next up, we have uh, Ida. Also undefeated against Erie Mason. This uh, Erie Mason got destroyed, annihilated, decimated, sixty-three to seven, and wow. so Ida will, is of course going into the playoffs. And Ida is going to be on your next week sheets. And I know you guys are like, well, Ida is really not a local high school team, but we've been covering them a little bit this year, so I thought I'd throw them on there. So Ida. So, will- that's- Oh, Good sorry. call. Good call. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, Ida will, is 9-0, and and they will be facing the 5-4 and Ann Arbor Gabriel Richard. Oh, wow. So, nice long name uh, there. Yes. Yes. Uh, so. Rose is making it interesting on me. I'm going to have to print up a bunch of new schools, I can tell already. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and this is why we start the frenzy... Uh, this is this has become some serious stuff, folks. We like we start on Sunday nights and Mondays now, getting prepped for the week. It's like it's getting big time here, guys. It's it's a it takes us a week to prep for the show now. So <laughs> anyway, moving right along, we have um, Columbia Central uh, beating up on the Onstead Wildcats, 35-17, to 17, and congratulations to Columbia Central because they, I believe, are in the playoffs too. Yes, they are. Um, do I have – no, I did not put Columbia Central on the sheet next week. I did not see a game uh, for them. Really? Okay. Well, I'm all right. Not... But we, we know they are, so we'll uh, – they got to be in the playoffs is all I'm thinking. Yeah. Hey, did Bad Axe make it? Putting you on the spot. Um, I'm pulling up the, uh, the the site right now. Um, let's see. You did Columbia Central. Summerfield defeats Sand Creek 53-20. to uh, Summerfield. 
Uh, seven He's also eligible. What? I said they are also playoff eligible. They are, yes. Uh, Summerfield, the 7-2 and two Summerfield, will be facing the 7-2 and two Whiteford. And those will, that game will be on your sheets next week. You might have just seen a weird look on my face that I just responded to this Arizona Cardinal guy. Take, he had a perfect ball in his hands, and he just gets annihilated, gets hit hard and loses the ball. So that's a part. Sorry for the expression on my face. I was catching the game while I was saying that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh, All right. to, to answer your question, Bad X did not make the playoffs. They had a 3-6 and six record. What about EPBP? Let's see. That was right. my next question, Rose. Wow. EPBP did not either. EPBP had a 4-5 and five record. All right. You know what my final question is going to be? What's that? Oh, come on. You know what it is. Waterford, our... Uh, there you go. There you go, Rose. He's three for three tonight, folks. He just read my mind. One sec. Pulling it up right now. Um, All right, right, Rose is getting that for you. I will tell you that uh, Decumpsy beat Carlton Airport 20 to 14. However, neither one of these teams have enough wins this year to make the playoffs. Uh, Sorry. Our Lady of the Lake is in the playoffs they have they are nine and zero this year wow we got to get one of their games in there rose they are facing um clarkston everest collegiate and their record is five and four. Oh boy um what was oh columbia central was the other one I'll let you continue on there, Tim, while I look up Columbia Central. All right. As Rose is looking into high school playoff action for us, we are moving on to NCAA football action, where we have Oklahoma over Texas Tech, 63-27. to Next up, we have Michigan State over Indiana. 52 to 26. And that's right, Kiwi. This next game was supposed to be. That's right. You're correct. This was supposed to be Jamie Rose's. Squeaker. Game of the week. I was trying to see if Kiwi would say it again, but she she's been she's quiet now. He's quiet now. (laughs) This was Jamie Rose's squeaker game of the week. And we have to say squeaker because he didn't even come close to squeaking on this one. <laughs> we have Old Miss pounding, destroying, annihilating, wiping out, as I predicted, Texas A&M, 23 to 3. This, folks, was the game that helped me win this week. <laughs> I was a little scared after I picked against Hillsdale because that that put Rose on top, but I battled back. <laughs> uh, Columbia Central is eight and one, and they are facing Dearborn Dearborn Heights. Oh wow! And they are come on seven and two. So I will All right. Uh, next up, I'll take this one since Rose is doing lots of research for us and he's on top of these, the research stuff right now. We have uh, Adrian College getting a win over Wisconsin Lutheran, 30-12. to 12. Hillsdale College got a big win over Tiffin, 38-24. to 24. Good job, Hillsdale. All right, this is our last preseason NBA action games tomorrow. Am I correct on that, Rose? Is tomorrow opening day? I believe. Or is it Wednesday? Or is it just the Pistons open up tomorrow? Uh, one sec here. <laughs> anyway, while Rose is looking on that, Why I'm are you sorry. putting me on the spot tonight? Put- 
about tonight. Here, we, this is a recap show, and we probably got as much information gathered into this show tonight as we do any of our other shows. Anyway, we got the Pistons over the Hawks, one hundred and fifteen to eighty-seven, was that final there, and the San Antonio Spurs over the Houston Rockets, one eleven to eighty-six. All right, NBA regular season starts tomorrow, Tuesday, the twenty-seventh. So today for you guys out there, you will have the Pistons versus the Hawks, the Cavaliers versus the Bulls, and the Pelicans versus the Golden State Warriors. Wow. All right. All right, on to hockey action. We're getting right through this now. That Rose is looking up all this stuff for us. We'll let Rose take this one since he's uh, – I've been keeping him busy over there. <laughs> all right, we have uh, the Flames – Squeaking by the Detroit Red Wings, three to two in overtime. Ooh, take the next one too. You've been out for a little bit. The Tampa Bay Lightning also squeak by the Winnipeg Jets, four to three in overtime. And one more, because that's just the way we roll. The Toledo Walleye get a big win over the Kalamazoo Wings. The K-Wings. Uh, five to two, the Walleye win. Woohoo! Way to go, Walleye. Um, and then we have, finishing off your hockey, minor league hockey action, we have, oh man, the Charlotte Checkers over the Grand Rapids Griffins. Three to one. What's going on with our Griffins, Rose? I'm not sure if it's in the new coach or exactly what's going on here with them, but hopefully I think they... we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get you out there to investigate things. <laughs> hopefully they get their act together soon here. So uh, next, uh, moving on to some NFL football. The uh, Minnesota Vikings defeat the Detroit Lions, 28 to 19. And the Patriots over the New York Jets, 30-23. to 23. NASCAR action for you guys. Yeah, buddy. Logano, man. Oh, my goodness. Joey gracious. Logano does it again. I'm telling you, Rose, I'm real close to buying me a Logano hat and jersey because I think I found my new racer, man. Uh-oh. This kid has got it all right now. He's not only a good racer. But he doesn't do a lot of trash talking unless he has to. Love his attitude about things. He just flat out says, you know, I can race with anybody. And uh, I adapt my style to everybody else's style. So, man, I don't know. It's almost like he's gone easy on everybody for the season. It's like he's tearing it up. Three weeks in a row. He's got a streak going, Rose. Anyway, Joey Logano was your number one winner. Dale Earnhardt Jr. came in number two. And Jeff Gordon is number three. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Dale Earnhardt Jr. or Jeff Gordon are even in the qualify qualifying for the uh, final races, are they? Um, Jeff Gordon is. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to real quick figure out because this isn't as cl clear and cut. Uh, your your racers in the elimin in the uh, the elite eight. I'll call them, or they're calling, I'm sorry, the Eliminator 8, they call it on here. Joey Logano, Carl Edwards, Jeff Gordon, Kurt Busch, Brad Kowalski, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, and Kyle Busch. So, Eliminated are Matt Kenseth, Danny Hamlin, Bear with me for one sec. Uh, Ryan Newman and Dale Earnhardt you, Jr. are all eliminated from the chase right now. Are you eliminating them off the sheet as we speak? <laughs> Not right now, but I, that is my oh. goal tonight is to okay. sit down and work on all the sheets here. So. All righty. Well, moving right along, we're moving into wrestling and going into hell in a cell. Pay-per-view. Our first match of the night was 
your world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins, taking on the masked Kane. Your winner of this match was none other than Seth Rollins. <laughs> your first Hell in a Cell match was Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. And Roman Reigns gets a big win. So did he destroy him? It, I mean, it was pretty good. They went through a lot of tables, and uh, it was a very good match, though. So did he look beat up at all when they came out and took The Undertaker? Uh, no. Well, he didn't do too much. Mostly the, the other family members, the Wyatt family members, came out and did more stuff. Okay, and, so they tried to sell it that way, then. Yeah, he... he he like the the other Wyatt members got in the ring real quick, and he kind of took his time, and I think was trying to portray like he was still sore. All right. And speaking of the Undertaker, your other three points, three point bonus game. Which was not worthy of being a three-point bonus game. All right, Rose might, Rose might differ on his opinion, but Brock Lesnar gets the win with a low blow and the F5. Does he still call it that? Yes, he does. Okay. I'm surprised. Anyway, your winner was Brock Lesnar. And to finish that match off, the Wyatt family comes out and carries the Undertaker away. I'm curious to see where they. I'm curious to see where they go with that story angle. First of all, the Undertaker should have got up and just annihilated them all and left, screaming fans going nuts. I know I. This Taker is not this Taker that we have here now. I gotta keep this short because the show could get long. But this Taker we have here now, we might be able to talk about it more on Thursday, Friday show. This taker we have now is more like the biker taker than he is the original Undertaker Undertaker. He doesn't he he doesn't have any of the magical ability that the original Undertaker had. And the original Undertaker was invulnerable, if you remember correctly. It's like nobody people were terrified of him because they couldn't stop him. Like how it's kind of like even Hogan had problems with him way back in the day when Hogan first faced him. That unmentionable guy in the WWE. <laughs> you said his name. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm a bit disappointed in that one. But uh, to keep the to keep the show the recap show from not going too long, I've got two things for you tonight, and then Rose can finish up something if he wants to. But I want to say uh, um, that uh, we were sad to hear of the passing of uh, of uh, Coach Flip Flip who uh, coached coached our Pistons for quite a few years there. Uh, he passed away yesterday of uh, cancer, so uh, that, I, that was fairly sad news. I thought he was a fairly – well, not fairly. He was a good coach. So uh, rest in peace, Flip. And the other piece of information I have for you tonight is the um, Detroit Lions fired – uh, three or four of their offensive line coaches, including the head guy, um, who was uh, a family member of Vince Lombardi, believe it or not. So uh, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Do you have anything you'd like to add to it, Rose? Nope, that's about it for me. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, our current score for the football game is, I believe, the Ravens just scored, and it's 10-7 to with 3 minutes and 14 seconds left in the second quarter. I'm the coach. Be blessed, everyone, and have a great week. We will see you again real soon. In the air, around you is... Jamie. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.